what do you think is the most famous picture of all times? Well, you might think of the Mona Lisa or a very famous press picture or something, and you might be right, but I'm pretty sure there is a picture out there that I, that you, that we all have seen much more often than the Mona Lisa. I'm talking about a green meadow. Exactly, <laughs> this one. This is the original and default wallpaper of Microsoft's operating system Windows XP. First published in 2001, later installed on 8 billion computers. Only after 13 years, in 2014, the support for this almost iconic operating system finally ended. Even if you never had a Windows computer at home, I'm pretty sure you've seen this image before. Maybe at work, maybe at university, maybe in an internet cafe. For many years, it was almost impossible to avoid it. This famous photography has a name. Bliss. It was taken in the year 1996 by Charles O'Rea, not far away from San Francisco. The funny thing about this picture, the area you see in that picture is actually not as quiet and as idyllic as it seems. And the green meadow you see on the picture is also not here anymore 27 years later. Because this meadow actually never belonged at that place. You have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Well, let me tell you the exciting story of the Windows XP wallpaper. Okay, I just arrived at the place where it all happened 27 years ago. There is only one problem. It's not as idyllic as it seems on the Windows XP wallpaper. Well, the nature is quite great, as you can see. But there is a really busy road right in the middle and it's quite dangerous to walk here. The wallpaper scene is somewhere over there, uh, but there is not really a footpath or something. Um, yeah, but I will try my luck anyway. I will try to get there. Uh, and while I'm trying not to die, I will tell you what exactly is this place I am right now. Yeah, hello and welcome to the noisy but actually quite idyllic Napa Valley. A region in California that is best known for its wine production. In the 19th century, the first vineyards were planted here by missionaries and settlers who brought vines with them from Spain and France. In the 1950s and 60s, wine became a hype in the region because it was well known for its quality in contrast to the cheap mass-produced wine that you could buy at other places, which also had to do with the initiative of the wine growers here. This finally made the Napa Valley one of the most important wine growing regions in the world. Today there are about 400 wineries here in the Napa Valley which produce very different varieties from classic Bordeaux and Burgundy varieties to innovative new grape varieties. Winemaking is so important for this region that annual sales exceed 13 billion US dollars. Well, and not only that, because of its popular wines, the Napa Valley is also a popular tourist attraction. You can do tastings and vineyard tours, balloon rides and also cooking events take place here. Well, and in this Napa Valley, also Charles Aurea took his famous Windows XP wallpaper 27 years ago. As he said in an interview, he was also driving on this busy road. He was on his way to his girlfriend. Uh, and then he saw a beautiful green meadow right in front of his car window. This green meadow is located west of the city of Napa, right next to Highway 12. 
On the day of the recording, a day in January 1996, it used to be sunny and warm here in the Napa Valley. Only a few white clouds could be seen in the sky, the sunlight was reflected on the mountains. Charles O'Rear used to be a professional landscape photographer at that time, who was usually working for National Geographic and other magazines. However, the green meadow in the Napa Valley came a bit unexpectedly in front of his lens that day. It was a perfect day with perfect light and a perfect landscape, the photographer said later in interviews. He was totally impressed by the idyll of this meadow. He pulled out his medium format camera and a wide angle lens and pulled the trigger. Obviously, this was also a bit complicated because also Charles O'Rear had a problem with the flowing traffic here on the street and accordingly only had little time to shoot the famous picture. The exciting thing about this recording, according to Charles O'Rear, it is unedited. It was a straight shot, he said. He only digitized the image but did not change it and then he sold it to an agency. What Charles O'Rea didn't know at that time, the tech giant Microsoft bought the image two years after it was taken and used it for its new operating system, Windows XP. Not only that, it even became the default wallpaper. Microsoft said that Bliss conveyed a positive message and exuded a certain calm that went well with the idea of Windows XP as a user-friendly and stable operating system. In addition, the image had a very high resolution and could therefore be displayed on different screen sizes and resolutions. The color balance also convinced the tech company because it looked good on different monitors. And well, that's how they chose Bliss. Well, but I think now it's time to show you how this famous Windows XP wallpaper looks like today, 27 years later. And here it is. <laughs> okay, let's do the reality check. This is the famous Windows XP wallpaper as we know it from our computers. Today displayed on an Apple device. <laughs> I don't even know if this is allowed. Whatever, this is how this place looks like today in reality. And what we can see here is it looks totally different today. There is no green meadow anymore. This little hill is a vineyard. There are grape vines wherever you look. There is no grass. There are no small yellow flowers anymore. And there are also no clouds today. But if we compare those scenes in detail, we can see there are a few elements that we can see on the Windows XP wallpaper that are still here today. A few elements I didn't even notice while looking at this picture for so many years. For example, there is this little path in the middle of those vineyards that you can see here in reality. If you take a really close look, you can also see that in the Windows XP wallpaper, Bliss, there is some kind of a footpath in the middle. What we can also see is there is a hill in the background that you can also see here in reality. And there is also a hill on the left side of the picture. You can see a little bit of that in the Windows XP wallpaper. Since my picture is a bit zoomed out, you can see a bit more of the area around it. So this hill, you know, from the wallpaper is actually surrounded by many other hills that you don't really see in the famous photo. What you also do not see are those trees in the background. Maybe they haven't been there at that time, but I think it's a bit more about the perspective. I think Charles Aria went a bit down with his camera so that you don't see the hills and also the trees in the background. And well, that is how the famous Windows XP Meadow looks like today. By the way, if you like to visit this place yourself, let me give you a few tips. Like I mentioned a lot of times now, there is a really busy road right next to this famous place. So please take care of yourself. There is no real parking space right next to the road. Uh, there is also no real footpath right next to the road. There is a very tiny parking space right above this famous place. Uh, it's quite safe to park your car there, but then you have to walk right next to the road to get there. And there are also a lot of trucks that might not see you. So my suggestion would be stay in the grass. And there are also times when there is no traffic on that road. Then you can walk a little bit down the road and otherwise stay away from the road and 
and stay in the grass so that you don't get hit by a car or by a truck. Okay, I survived the busy road and I would say now it's time to talk about the facts. Why the heck does this Windows XP wallpaper look so different on our computer screens than it does in reality? Was there no wine growing in 1996 when Charles O'Rea took his famous picture? Or did they destroy those vineyards to let him shoot his famous picture? Well, none of that. Actually, this green meadow you see in the picture is some kind of an error in the system. It actually doesn't really belong here. There was also some wine growing in this area, at least until a very nasty little animal started to spread in this region. May I introduce the Phylloxera, also known as Phylloxera vastatrix. This is, as you can probably guess, an insect that is not good for vine growing at all. More specifically, Phylloxera attacks the roots of vines, then it weakens and eventually kills the plant by reducing water and nutrient uptake. This animal originally is from North America, however, it caused real damage in Europe in the middle of the 19th century. For example, in France in 1868 and later in Spain, Italy and Germany. The effects were devastating for wine growing in Europe. In France alone, about 50% of all the vineyards were lost by the 1870s. And also in America, the Phylloxera plague has been a huge issue since then. Why am I telling you all of this? <laughs> well, because this nasty little phylloxera is also responsible for this green meadow. In the late 1990s, there was a huge phylloxera plague in the Napa Valley. The first cases of infestation became known in the 1980s, but they were initially denied by wine growers. But by the 1990s, it was finally over and the insect won. More than 50,000 acres of vines had to be removed completely. Some of them also were burned down, including, right, the famous Windows XP vineyard. The only reason why we can see a bright green meadow on the world famous photo, why Charles O'Rea even stopped here at this place and took out his camera is that a small, nasty insect simply destroyed the actual photo motif. In fact, this Phylloxera plague is not an uncommon thing in wine regions like the Napa Valley. Also in the past, this happened a lot and this unwelcome animal had some really bad side effects on the economy of this region. Also in the 1990s, when the Windows XP vineyard disappeared, those were rough times for the region. There were massive crop failures and accordingly less wine could be sold. Unemployment also rose in the Napa Valley at that time, probably not at least because there were fewer jobs in wine growing because of this plague. But those events also had one advantage, the wine growers learned from them. The small nasty insect still exists and will probably always exist, but the vineyards are much better protected against it. For example, more specialized rhizomes resistant to phylloxera are now used in the Napa Valley, also special soil treatments and, well, last but not least, insecticides have driven this pest from the vineyards. Yeah, but even though this phylloxera isn't such a huge problem anymore for the Napa Valley, meanwhile this region has other problems. And the most important one is a problem that also every other region has. Right, it's the climate change. Even though it is already quite warm and dry in this region, the situation has been getting worse for several years. The summer 2021 was one of the hottest in the history of the state of California and that's not good for wine growing at all. Higher temperatures can mean that the grapes ripen faster and need to be harvested earlier. This can affect aroma development and can also affect the quality of the wine. 
The drought can also mean that the vines get less water and therefore produce less grapes. Extreme weather events such as drought, heavy rain, hail and hurricanes are of course not good for vineyards either. Then there are the forest fires, which are also becoming an increasing problem in the region. Even if the vineyards themselves are not affected, the smoke gets into the grapes and in the worst case, the wine tastes like an ashtray. Last but not least, climate change is promoting completely new pests and insects that were no problem previously. And then there has been a dispute in this region for several years about groundwater, which is becoming more and more popular due to the drought, but at the same time is becoming increasingly scarce. Conflicts arise between residents, the industry and of course the wine growers who all want their piece of the cake. And all this is only the short-term problem. According to a paper by several climate scientists, for example from Harvard University, Lund University in Sweden and the University of Bordeaux in France, 56% of all wine-growing regions in the world could disappear in the long term if the Earth were to warm up by 2 degrees Celsius, a currently very likely scenario. According to the study, what could minimize the drama a little would be if the wine growers would plant more heat resistant varieties, but those may no longer taste as good as the old ones. All of this also could affect the Napa Valley in the future and in the worst case scenario also our Windows XP hill is no longer a vineyard hill anymore. Maybe it will become a green meadow again or a desert, who knows, but then at least we would have a new motif for our desktop wallpaper. Okay, I'm back in the hotel. That was my trip to Napa Valley. It was so windy that I lost my cap. Look at this. <laughs> but at least then we have another. I'm really a bit sad right now. I lost my beautiful gray cap to the Napa Valley. <laughs> How uncool is that? <laughs> Whatever. That was my trip to the Napa Valley. That was my story about the Windows XP wallpaper. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. You can also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. And if you'd like to support me and my work, now I really need this support because I need a new cap, <laughs> then uh, you can become a Patreon. Uh, then you will also get exclusive stuff and new videos before. So, what's the next place on the route? I will tell you in the next video. So please subscribe and uh, yeah, have a safe journey and see you next time. Bye bye.